a super easy way to make awesome compositions. What's that? You want to rap first? Hot sauce rap! Let's go, my friends! I'm the king of AI, what can I say? Making that cool stuff every day. Come on, kids, it's time to play. Better watch that shit, don't click away. <laughs> Let's get started. So now that I've scarred you for life, I want to create something like this. But how can I do that? A text prompt isn't good enough for that. I want to have more control over the elements, over the composition, over the colors, everything. So basically, the best way to describe an image is with another image. So today I'm going to show you that process. I want to have a female hero standing on the top of a roof with angel wings with a burning city in the background. So here what we need to do is to separate the woman and the foreground from the background. So right click on our layer, rasterize. Then we go to the selection brush and we're going to the add mode. Resize the brush to a good size and then we want to select the woman and also the rooftop in the foreground. As you can see, that is super easy and very fast. We're going to click here on Refine and then we're going to click on Apply. Now we are going to copy this onto an extra layer so that we have now the foreground separated from the background. Next, I'm going to open up the goose image and here I want to use one of these wings. So I'm going to use the left wing. I'm going to use my selection brush again. Right click on the layer, rasterize the layer, control C to copy. Then we go to the other image, control V to paste this in here. Now I want to put that wing in between our model and our background. So I will pull this down in between these two layers. And now you can see I can put the wings on her back. Let's put it like this. And then I will duplicate that layer. I go up here to arrange and flip horizontally. And then I'm going to put that on the other side too. Now both wings are a little bit too dark for my taste. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm selecting both of them. I'm pressing Ctrl G on the keyboard. So they are in a group now. And now I'm going down here to adjustments and then to curves. Now with the curve adjustment, I will push this up a little bit like so in that part. This upper right part are the bright areas. The lower part is the dark area. So I will click here and pull it a little bit down. And you can see like this with this S curve, I can also introduce some contrast into my wings and make them as bright as I want them to be. Now, of course, as I told you, I also want to have a burning city in the background. So for that, I go to File and Place and I simply load my burning city here, make that as big as it needs to be. And then I put it on top of the background, so lower than our model and lower than our wings. And now, as you can see, this is in the background. I can move it around to find a scene that I like. For example, this one where we have a nice contrast for the wings to stand out. Now that I've created all of this, I'm going to go to File and then to Export to save that. I want to reduce the resolution on the long side to about 1600. My prompt is female hero with blonde hair, wearing a cyborg armor and bright wings, standing on a rooftop with burning apocalyptic city in the background. Ref animated 840,000 as the VAE clip skip 2. For the settings, I'm using Euler A, 25 steps, restore face, 512 by 768, CFG scale 7, denoise strength 0.4 and the batch size at 8. Here we have our wonderful results. So you can select the one that you like most from all of these compositions. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to send that to InPaint and I'm going to paint out the face of the character here. I'm going to change my prompt to beautiful face. I'm using only mask 768 by 768 denoising 0.4 again batch size 8. Here is the result with our improved face and we're going to send that to image to image to upscale it with tile. So click here on send to image to image. Go up here to restore the full prompt. 
Then you go down here to the settings and set for the width 1024, for the height 1536. For the denoise strength, I'm going to go here with 0 0.2 CFG scale 7. I want to set the sampling method to DPM++ 2S A Keras. Sampling steps 25 is okay. Control net, enable, tile, resample, control net tile for the tile method, then down sampling rate 3. Set the batch size to 1 and then click on generate. And here you can see the beautiful final result of our composition. Now I want to show you another method on how to use that with text to image. So for that, I want to use this portrait here and I want to combine it with an abstract, very nice ornamental background. Again, I'm going to open this up in Affinity Photo and then I'm going to place my abstract background in here. Of course, for this, I want to rotate the background and of course, I have to put it in the background. So let's hide that layer, select the layer with our model in there, use our selection brush in the add mode and then paint out the model here. As you can see, that is super fast. Again, we are going to click on refine and then click on apply. And now we're going to click on mask and mask again. So this has removed the background. You can see here that this took a little bit off the neck. There's no problem for us. We're clicking on the mask. We're using our paintbrush, setting that to white as a color and then simply painting that part back in. Now that this is done, I will re-enable our background. I will pull it below our model and in this case, what I want to do here, because we have this nice round design in the background, is that I want to put that right behind her head and then also stretches a little bit out so that we have kind of a halo around her head. So you can see now we have this really amazing design. So next, again, we're going to export this. Reduce the size on the long side to 1600. And this time inside of Automatic 11.11, we are going to go to text to image. Now I want to show you a pretty cool trick here when we load this into Automatic 11.11. So for the prompt, I'm writing beautiful African queen, colorful abstract background. I'm using the sampling method DPM++ 2SA Keras sampling steps 25. For the width and the height, 512 by 768, CFG scale 7. Now down here for control net, we're using two control nets. First, we're going to use depth layers with control net version 1.1 depth. And then for the resolution, we are not using pixel perfect. Instead, we are setting the pre-processor resolution to 1600 like our image. Then on the second control net, we're going to load the image. Here we're going to use open pose full and control net 1.1 open pose. For this one, we are going to use pixel perfect. I have my batch size on four. And now check out these amazing results we are getting from this composition. Now, of course, the next step you want to do here is to send that over to InPaint to fix the eyes and then to upscale that image. And here you have the stunning result from this composition. Now, truth to be told, this video had a complete other part where I created this image with a bear holding a red balloon and a girl sitting in his lap, but I deleted that by accident. I can do that in my live stream if you want to. Thanks for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.